Hello, everybody, and welcome to the very first episode of Dwarf Boys. This is a series where we're going to be playing some Dwarf Fortress. Uh, we've never done this before. We thought we would have some fun and kind of start the game off, create a fortress, uh, have a bunch of people, and just see what happens. You know, Will, are you excited? I, <laughs> I'm excited to finally start this series. Uh, yeah, no, first time. First time. We have never played this before. It's going to be fantastic. I'm super oh, excited. Um, despite what you may have heard in the past, Will's actually going to be playing the game. Um, simply because I realized that you can't really pay attention to Dwarf Fortress and do a super complicated stream at the same time. So this way, Will can it's do. True. Will can play. Uh, Will can play. Will can play. It's okay, little boy. Oh, uh, Will can play. Oh, my hand! Where did it go? Oh, God. Uh, Hi, Baron. Um, <laughs> Hi, Baron. Um, so... Uh, but first, we need to talk about we need to talk about what happened previously on Dwarf Dwarf Boys. <laughs> um, previously on Dwarf Boys, our first uh, fortress. What was it? Con construct? Constrained construct? Cloistered constructs. Cloistered construct. I'm gonna be honest with you. I hated that fortress name. It was not dwarf you know, enough. It's a good fortress name that knows you're gonna do well. My current fortress name: City Whips. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. So previously, uh, we started out the stream strong. We had a very experienced doctor and his hot wife join and just show up as a migrant. We were like, hell yeah, set up a hospital. It was great. Uh, we had a little bit of entertainment. One of our stray dogs uh, fought off a bear twice outside the fortress, which was awesome. Um, look, then we tried to dig a well. Things got a little complicated, and our very tired expedition leader slash miner may have been starting to get thirsty, and he may have been trapped in the bottom of a hole for a while, but we finally got him out. This is a picture of when he came out. Uh, he was alive at that point in time. Uh, <laughs> um, Will and I, we got in a little bit of a screaming match, so, you know, just things happen. Uh, and then... <laughs> Was it, uh, it was one of the, it wasn't an animal trainer, was it? I think, it, who, who, for, he, he went in a fame blacksmith. mood and then didn't get what he wanted, so he went crazy. Yeah, it was a yes. blacksmith. He went crazy, um, and another dwarf from the squad choked him to death with his thighs, which was incredible as he was surrounded by a bunch of other people. So, another success for, uh, Cloistered Construct. Unfortunately, our brave expedition leader eventually did succumb to his wounds and died of dehydration. Um, I think he may have been the first to go. It's it's okay though. He did his he did his God's duty and he got us a well. Uh, unfortunately, the, everybody else also dehydrated because the well was empty. So to the brave men of Cloistered Construct, Godspeed, God bless. You will never, never, never be forgotten. Um, what do you think, Will? Is it time to play? That guy up front looks like Rambo. <laughs> He kind of does. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's kick it. To okay. So we're gonna. Uh, you sent me over the world save. So we're gonna start a new game in an existing world. Okay. Before we do, which this, is the fucking window changed again. Is there any way at all that you can just play normally? Because it keeps. Oh, if you just maximize there. Yeah. There perfect. Go. Thank you. I, I only do it the other way because you can't. You have to window key out of alt tab out of it. It's the no, only I reason I play the other way. I know. I do the same thing, but um, it, I, it's just okay. I had it all set and then it and then it goofed it again. No, no, you're good. If it goofed it again. Yeah, that's fine. I can I can I can exist. Uh, just give me a second, uh, folks. I'm trying to maybe if you want to go ahead and get get the setup going. Yeah, I'm just going into the land of Griffins. <laughs> Baron says he loves the clarification of a quote alive at that point. <laughs> yeah, very important. Very important distinction. Um, we're going to hit fortress mode. 
Wait the two weeks. Let's just build on top of the old fortress. <laughs> Can you imagine if we did? I was trying to think once we get our legs under this and have a, if we get a couple of stream series into this, we should do a, like a prepare carefully with a good idea. Absolutely not. I will not allow it. Uh, okay, let's find an embark location. Four by four savagery. Let's do calm. Keep everyone happy. Uh, no aquifer. Oh, they added scrolling. I don't know if you noticed. Are you sure they didn't always have that? Uh, either they didn't always have that or it works in a lot more menus now. Okay. Um, slight problem. I'm going to reconnect to Parsec. Okay. Yeah. Because it is, it had it, and now it just doesn't like it. Okay, let me try. Deep soil. Um, we're gonna have to do an audible. Let's um, let's go to Discord. Discord? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, OBS just doesn't want to capture Parsec right now. <sighs> Actually, no, sorry. Let's do OBS Ninja. Cause, OBS Ninja? Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, then I don't have to crop. So apologies for folks at home. Uh, the game video quality may not be that great, but we're, we're, we're dicking around. Oh, can you leave? Parsec? The Parsec? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gone. Thanks. It Bye. literally would not let me quit it. OBS. You know, it hasn't been OBS Ninja in a long time. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna slowly eat my lunch over here. I'm a little sick. Uh, I'm just been busy. I'm just gonna share the entire screen again. Yeah, I think that works. Uh, it's not sending you audio now, so I'll send it through. Hey, I think we're good. Huzzah, Yofi. I'm ready. I'm ready to play. What's what are we going to do different about this? I think we need to build a well immediately, honestly. <laughs> I mean, depending on the climate, yes. Oh, I think you're also sending me in Discord if you want to. Or am I sending? Oh, wait. I'm not. What, what are you getting? Oh, that's me sending it. We're okay. Okay. Um, I, uh, like my, um, current place, I built my, uh, fortress next to this. I think it's either the start or the end of like a river delta. So it's like always full, which is why my well blew up because the water pressure. Um, yeah. So it never freezes over or anything. So I just think it's something good because they're going to, they're going to start complaining about it anyways. And if we're gonna fuck it up, let's fuck it up early. You know, if we're gonna flood the fortress, yeah. let's do it early. Yeah, I, I forgot to mark those rocks as refuse, which is what I need to do. I'm finally I have 101 dwarves. Uh, Damn. And now I have to make like new labor categories to like figure yeah. everyone out. It's like getting crazy. Okay. Um. um yeah, I think I'm at like 90. Okay, let us choose an origin. Uh, Volcano of Winter sounds cool. They're all down here. Good spot. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't put river in the uh, search. Well, you can redo a search, right? Yeah. Aquifer, no. River, there it is. I gotta search one more time. Um, yeah, my current fortress, 101 dwarves. Uh, I just set up a hospital, which took forever because <laughs> those Minotaur attacked everyone and ripped people's heads off. Killed a human bard outside of my place. Jeez. Um, and I sent my two squads. They defeated him. He dropped a bunch of like cool stuff, which they won't pick up for some reason. <laughs> I'm trying to get them to pick it up. But uh, 
I had injured people and no one was helping them. I signed doctors. I had a hospital. And then in the hospital tab, you have to assign the doctors in the hospital. Oh, that makes In sense. order for them to work there. Because my... So my, then they finally healed everyone. Because my expedition leader is currently in like a six-month coma right now because of a cave-in. <laughs> and he's just hanging out in the mm. hospital in a bed. Yeah. So I, I need to go in and assign people then. Okay. I have a crazy tavern. I built a place for cult leaders or a cult. I had two guilds petition me for guild halls. I just set up their guild halls. Um, I'm trying to work. I built a fishing shack with a roof. Ooh. Uh, and then my other problem was they weren't. There's a setting for getting rid of uh, bodies outside of your fortress because the human bard and the minotaur died right outside the entrance and everyone was becoming unhappy because they had to walk past the bodies every day. That doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> so I had to I had to like tell them to remove them from outside. So okay, choose origin civilization. We're good. Um, okay, let's find an. Oh god, what did I do? Find an embark location. Click the mark. Okay, there's one over here. Oh, that top that that left one looks good. This one looks pretty good. What, what can you let's hover over it? Elevation. Yeah, let's see what it is. What are you? I think this is the, the more green it is, the lower elevation. Blue is high. Are you did you zoom in? Or are you just? Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, OK, let's go around here. This one's not happening. Calm, moderate. Vegetation is scarce, though. And there's Trees a nearby a hostel. Oh, I don't want any of that. Either. Ooh. No trees, though. The trees sparse. There's trees sparse. Sparse. No. What about that one Let's all the way on the there. right? All the way on the right. This one up here? That's the left. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, down yeah, here? Yeah. Or north. over here? Yeah, just north. Isn't that a bunch of trees right there? Yeah, this is where... That's the old one. Oh, so if we if we picked one near here, honestly, it was pretty good. We just make sure that we have the... the right river. Yeah. So we could do here, where trees are none. We could just... See, this whole thing's a brook. Oh, so which we is why I don't want to go there. What if we go on? Yeah, what if we go over there on the right side of that forest? It's got an aquifer. There's still no there's heavily forested. Trees. It's a stream. I still I want a river. Yeah. Um, what about the forest south of of where we were? Down here? No, no up. Go back to where we were. Up here. Oh, that forest. Yeah, there's a light aquifer. Eh. Uh. It's Probably a stream not. again, though. There's just not a lot of forest on your map, is there? It's really not. Uh, oh, we... <laughs> no. It's not a viable place. Um, okay, let hi, me Zach. check down here. Oh, hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. Fuck off, Zach. So, only thing we have to deal with down here would be winter. Is that it? It's a strong man. I really don't like this map. What's up here? Yeah, again, is that what's that? Spicy planks. <laughs> it's the name Sp of the brook. This is pretty good. <laughs> uh, sorry. Yeah, this place kind of suck. I think we go back to where we were, but we just pick a slightly better. Was there south of it? Yeah, I was just yeah, just worried about that brook. Was one of those a river? I mean, we can deal with an aquifer. Wait, 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 go back, go back to where you were. Up here. No, it was further down south. Keep going south. This one. What about at the s southern edge of that forest? We get so if, like. No, like literally the south, south. Oh, like here. Yeah, oh, that's uh, it's a stream. What if we just do in the middle of the yeah, forest? Yeah, that's a stream. That's a stream. 
Shallow clay, shallow sand, very deep soil, light aquifer. Yeah, I mean, we can handle it. Yeah. We're just going to have to be digging around some aquifers, but... I think that's okay. okay. I'm going to go, like, right... Go, like, right here, so we get some of those mountains. Yeah. Oh, water might need to be pumped out. Okay. Let's do it. Let's party. Bold. Boldly go. <clears throat> Dwarven Outpost, we have arrived. Harsh journey. Trade ceilings. Trade ceilings. Ceilings. It's not half bad. I'm going to write that down. Okay. What do we got? Ooh, we got some mountains. Let's do this southern mountain. Where's the water? <laughs> I'm paranoid about water now in Tor Fortress. It's right here. So it's all ice? Yeah, it's iced over right now. So you just have to be careful when you're digging. Although I would expect it. It's weird. When it goes to ice, I understand that, but I would still expect to see it underwater. Yeah, it's because it becomes a not open space anymore. Oh, it's because, wide, yeah, so it's, it. so it's not open and it's not liquid, so it just shows yeah. it is. So as soon as as soon as soon spring hits, we'll dig the well I and the we tunnels, and then we just get that running. Yeah, I, I was just thinking so maybe... there's enough water in there. Maybe we should... I don't want to say necessarily now, but... Dig, we can dig the reservoir in the well chamber before it thaws out, and then we just have to dig the channel. Yeah, my, my only my only thing is I can't see it right now. Like, I'd be going off of this map. Yeah, but it doesn't need to be too close. You could just have a long channel. I, I just mean, I think that's what kind of hurt us was we knew we needed to do a well, and even though we were pausing when doing blueprints and stuff, it still took time for it to actually be made. What do you think about the Dwarf Fortress soundtrack? It's great. It's, I think it it's sucks. It's kicking it for sure. I think it sucks in really? the game. I don't think it's used very well in the no. game. It just comes in randomly and it's like the same three tracks is what it sounds like. I mean, compared to what it was before, <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh God. What button did I hit? All right, so tell me what you're building as you're going through here. Uh, sorry. Uh, so I was just digging a channel in with a trade post. I'm digging this longer channel here to the staircase that I destroyed because I'm stupid. Um, um, and then I'm just doing a temporary stockpile here so we can get everything out from outside inside. Trade Depot will go here. I actually think I'm going to eventually put drawbridges here. Um... <clears throat> and a, a chasm for people to fall into, uh, which will be fun. On purpose? Like, if you don't like somebody? Yeah, just to keep people out. Can we look at your and dwarfs real I'm quick? I'm just gonna get rid of these, yes. Oh, who have we got? Stukos Adils Adiliseth. Let's look at your actual name. Stukos Wald Quests is our miner here. We've got Rigoth, who is our woodworker. Zulban, who is our mason. Aban, metal crafter. Z Zutthan, uh, fisher dwarf. Domas, dumbass, dumbass. is the planter. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and change that right now. You know what? You do that, and I'm going to um, do a little work over here. Um, uh, look at just, just dumbass Erdens to stand, and Rovid uh, is our expedition leader. I'm gonna go over to labor. The labors are usually assigned okay to begin with, but everyone hauls. Pretty much everyone does everything. Usually make the mason 
and metal crafter. Okay. And the expedition leader help mining. Fantasy dwarf farmer named dumbass. I need to know, I need to know this more about this dwarf. Sorry. Dumbass. Um, arriving uh to a winter valley with his arms full of plants and seeds. Any any other good information from this guy? Uh, looking for alcohol. Oh, no, no, uh, uh, grumble, uh, grumbling mildly at the inclement weather. Fantasy dwarf named Dumbass arriving, uh, I'm gonna say walking through a winter forest, winter field. Walking through a winter field. Fantasy dwarf farmer is named in a bad mood. Walking through a winter field with his arms full, of, and I'm going to say impressionist painting. Ooh, that's pretty good. Here we go, folks. You guys can do that. I need to uncover it. Oh. Oh, God. I can't call him dumbass. Fantasy Just dwarf. Just call him Dumas. Well, I don't think it matters. Yeah, that's true. Fantasy dwarf farmer. In a bad mood. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think impressionist is bad. I think I need to switch up the... That third one is, like, horrifying. This one? This one? I think <laughs> yeah. that's it. Honestly, let's call it. That's it right there. Oh, that's so good. All right, let's go back to game. Uh, so if, if I assume you're handling the tweeting now. Uh, yes. Uh, but basically, I just reply to the stream tweet, and then for the alt text, I paste in the search. I think I may change that. I think I'm just going to put I'm gonna put it in the text, because I think the alt text is too confusing. Okay. See, I, I think the problem is the music itself is good. They just don't use it well enough. They don't use it the right times, the right frequency. So, like, you just have these moments where it's just, like, nothing, you know? Mm. And it's not, it's, I think they're trying to do the Minecraft thing, but Minecraft did it so well, where it just kind of comes out of nowhere at moments. Okay, what's going... But I, I think the, the bigger problem for me, honestly, is I can't really listen to a podcast while I'm playing this game. So. So it's like, oh, really? Yeah, because I got to pay attention to it. So it's like I don't like the music, but I can't turn it off and switch to a podcast because it's oh, not oh, quite oh, a podcast oh, game. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Already, already, oh, already hitting God. bad place. <laughs> Uh, okay. We... Okay. No, no we, we can't abandon. No, uh... Oh, boy. So how, you, how do you deal with an aquifer? Uh, I mean... We just gotta find the boundaries it of it, right? Yeah. So maybe just start doing... Maybe drop a staircase somewhere else, and then from there just try and work around it this way cool we're doing god's work the tweets up hi zach how's it going what's for christmas what'd you get me Oh, you gotta switch. Did you switch back over to me? Yeah, we're fine. Oh, okay. Sorry, let me show you. Yeah, we're good. I think that was a while ago I was trying to... So, let me look up some uh, aquifer strategies. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, what to do when you dig into a water-soaked layer?
Okay, the good news is when you hit damp stone, the, the game automatically pauses. Yep. Uh, this game doesn't. It, it just it cancels the order. Oh, okay. Wait, are you the sure? Because this, this is for the Steam version. It says it pauses. Anyways. Um, well, maybe it did. Uh, when you expose an aquifer block, it will start producing water on any open block nearby. So when you did that, did it start populating water? So it's definitely so, an aquifer. So the reason I know there's an aquifer below this one, I had him dig stairs and he stopped. And the rest of the stairs are below it. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um... Now I'm gonna have him dig the other way. So you could, so you can build walls around it. So if you build a wall, it will stop water around an aquifer. Yeah. I just have to. <clears throat> I just can't dig down here because it's already filling with water. But you can also smooth it. So I think what you need to do is. I think you've got to figure out the boundaries of the aquifer. Yeah. But it's also early, so you could theoretically just go a ways away to like the eastern side of the river and dig down and see if you're in a better spot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where did my miner go? Is he doing other things? No, only mine. Don't haul. I don't pay you to haul. Pay you to haul ass. Yeah, we'll see what he does here. So where is he going We're just now? Gr grid mine the entire map. Stopped again. Okay. It's nice black sand. Can you go up and down elevations a little quick? I just want to see where you are. So you're on 32. Okay, and then where's where's the aquifer that you hit in relation to where you're currently digging? Directly below me. It's this right here. It's right there as well. And it's right there as well. And it's oh, right here as well. So you're digging you're digging a staircase. From the top level you can tell what's below. Yeah. He he canceled the staircase because he discovered staircase. it was damp. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, it's a giant aquifer, which is great. Okay. Um, nice thing is, we can go up. Oh. Instead of down. Yeah, maybe that's what so. you should do. But you, but you probably got to do some exploratory mining to make sure the aquifer starts below you and you're not just hitting the middle of it. Well, I can at least go up here. Build a little lookout. How, mu how much do you have up until you hit? Uh, I went up to 38 is where I stopped because then you, I hit up here. But this goes all that. the way up. Yeah. Oh, this yes. Goes up. So you There's got like 10 levels above you. Yeah. Okay. Let's, maybe we should just do that. Good news, we have a well. Right? Kind of. Yeah, <laughs> essentially. I mean, I could just put a well here. It'll always fill up again. But it's, it's a dusting of mud. Like, you want it to be deeper than that. Let me, let me look at how to turn a well into... How to turn an aquifer into a well.
Uh, do I have to make? Do I have to build? There's up. Okay. I gotta sneeze. Instructions, yeah. stairs. Am I going to do it? Maybe. I might just have to mine new stairs. You know, let's go this way, like here. We'll bring these up. There. Let me erase the other ones. Erase this. Which button gets rid of this? The stairs? Oh god, no. Okay, we're good. No, I was having them build stairs on top of stairs and I didn't want them to do that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not a smart decision. Okay, so now we're gonna move okay. up. So this is the first... good, there's, there's stone in here. So the first thing you should do is I get I mean, we got all this room. You should get above the aquifer, so you are above the aquifer. Okay. Yeah. You should dig a stairwell into its top layer. Okay, fans should then dig out the tiles that are adjacent to the stairwell, click the place structures icon, select constructions, and put walls into the freshly dug tiles. The walls prevent the aquifer from leaking into the stairwell. Oh, I see. So, where's your, where's your... Honestly, I don't think it's something we need to handle right now. No, but eventually we can, we can just, yeah. we can build a protected staircase through the aquifer. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so we go up one level. Oops, sorry. Up one level. Up one level, we'll go. How do we want to do this? I think I think we should try the method where looking at it vertically, like let's say this is your workplace, you your workshops, you put your stockpiles directly above it, and there is like a single or a two by two staircase. Yeah. So they can just go up yeah. and down. So I think that I think it's That's like I think like literally it's like vertical layering where it's like stockpile workshop stockpile workshop. So you still have a central staircase, uh, but like you have a branch off with a room with workshops and there's a staircase in it and then immediately above or below it is a stockpile of same so size room. So like the way I do that, like this whole floor would be stockpiles and the next floor up would be all the workshops uh, on top of the specific stockpiles. In yeah, and that's fine. Yeah. Okay. But I was wondering, should I think I might put the, I'm going to put stockpiles, workshops on this level and then this level I'm going to do housing. Yeah, and I would... Yeah, that works. We just need to be prepared to spread horizontally. Because vertical's a little tough with the aquifer. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do this in... Blueprint mode. So they can keep digging. Um, okay. I'm trying to see. Do All I right. put rooms in the middle? No. Let's do this. Room there. Room there. Okay. Go this way. Room there. Okay. 
So we can put a well because there's an aquifer. You can pretty much just put you can dig like a one layer worth small room in the aquifer that fills and then you just put a well on top of that. It doesn't need to be deep. Yeah, exactly. And then as long as there's water below it, it'll work. Yeah. And then I'm checking how to breach a light aquifer. I think I know how to do it, but I'm just watching somebody do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to describe it to you. You ready? You do what you did, which is you dig a staircase one down into the aquifer, right? Mm -hmm. And then as soon as that staircase is dug out, you 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 dig out a cross around it. So left, right, top, bottom, those get mined out. And then once those are mined out, you put a wall in place. So you basically have one okay. staircase with, with a left, right, top, bottom wall around it. And then you just keep repeating that going down gotcha okay so this wall right here is kind of forfeit because it's already filled way too much yeah it's it's, it's something so I'll you... probably start with this one or the middle one and then do that well but won't the water get no, it diagonally yeah so this one wait good sorry i'm waiting for the game to save sorry but it's saving. um yeah so yeah i'll, I'll do this piece right here and go down to here and then oh, boom, okay boom, okay boom, boom, boom. yeah and it's something you got to do pretty quick before it fills because it'll fill slowly but yeah, they can that one they can still walk it was in only it. at six and it's been a, it's been a bit so yeah so we, so you get down there you dig the staircase and then you do the, the walls around it um sorry i'm just designing some uh rooms Oh, you do oh, two by me... you do two by two bedrooms. I I like the idea of like digging is cheap, so I always try to make them bigger in case I want to fancy them up later. But well, I'm starting to think it's not yeah. worth the effort. The you need to minimize the amount of travel. Which yes. Is why I do two by two. Yeah. Then there's people um, okay. who do like so what I'm is gonna it? Do one by three. One floor up, and we're gonna make a big old. This is, I'm going to be honest with you, this is the best part. This is the most fun part of Door Fortress, is like literally planning stuff out. It's a big room. Okay, and then go up one. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Five. Ah, let me just let them take that out first. Before I think about it. Okay. Room, room. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I think this will be repeatable mm -hmm. in a pretty good way. How many? We only got seven people in here, so. Okay. Let's just do all that. Okay, and then these guys are digging this out. Now they're digging this out. 
So I'll throw... I, for now, I'm just going to make this another giant stockpile. Um, mm -hmm. Because it won't be until we're, like, really figuring stuff out. Was there a, oh, there's a road here. Oh. No, it's a brook. Oh, no, it's just the brook that hasn't filled up with water yet. <laughs> well, at least we got an aquifer. Oh, yeah, all the water's frozen here. So then it'll oh, spill. so it's an ice dam. Okay, gotcha. Oh, so cool. I love it. This. No, this. Destroy. I'm gonna, um... You keep playing, but I'm gonna do, uh... Fantasy dwarves digging into an aquifer and fighting off a slow stream of water. And I want this, you know, I'm gonna look up Dolly art styles. I'm gonna steal this from here. Okay, here we go. What was it? A color photograph. A color 1970s style photograph. 1970s style Time Magazine photograph <laughs> of fantasy dwarves. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, the brook's full. That's pretty Dang, good. That gets really full. Okay, you ready? That's one. Oh man, that's awesome. That's one. That's two. That's three. And that's four. I Ooh. think I think two or three because there it shows them actually digging into the ground. Three's good. Three's it's good. like the darkness. And the, um, yeah. the tree roots there. It's going to be three. They all, they all look like clay claymation that someone took a photo of. Yeah. Like they're all made out of clay. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so you got a stockpile. Stockpile's full. You set up your orders and stuff yet? You set up any workshops? Oh, gosh darn it. Um, no, I have not yet. Why? Just trying to make a staircase. Oh, that's why I'm being stupid. Okay. Um, yeah, I should probably set up work orders, but I haven't even built anything yet. Oh, screw it. Let's just do this. Ah, <sighs> carpenter. Yes, I know how work orders work. Yeah, I wish the, the, oh, the I fucking know. tutorial prompts didn't pop every single time. Well, you just click don't show again. Yeah, but then the next time you start the game, they show them again. <laughs> oh, I mean, the, not the next time you start the game, the next save. Yeah, but, well, yeah. Yeah, like, the, like it doesn't save your choice for that world or that save so every time you open the game again, you have to re-click, don't show this. 
It's just uh, a, okay. it's a lot of little stuff. I mean, they did a fantastic job bringing this to Steam, but there's still a lot of like little obvious stuff they need to fix. Oh yeah, I mean, it's like it's probably fifty percent of the full game. What's missing? I'm gonna look up what's missing. I mean, other than adventure mode, which is a huge chunk of it, uh, I think there's some background stuff that's missing. Okay, I'm looking it up. Yeah, I can't find a clean list. Oh, well. Boo, boo. Is your is your AC on or something? Because I am hearing that in the background. Yeah, it's the heater. Is that too much? Yeah, it's very obvious when it cuts in and out. I will turn off because it is hot in here. Are you guys getting that snow right now? Uh, when I came into this room, it was sleet. Um, it was heavy rain then sleet, so it it might. What's your forecast? Might be snow at this point. I don't think we're supposed. I think it's just supposed to be rain the whole time. I think the sleet is just because there's probably a cold front up top. We're supposed to. Hit, we're supposed to have a, a freeze overnight. Yeah. I, First time this I'm winter. Me check the weather. <laughs> yeah, you're making me check my phone. Uh, oh, it is 26 out right now, but it's not snowing. Yeah. Oh God. It's supposed to be eight degrees in the morning. Yeah, what if you just didn't live up there anymore? Oh, that excites me. Um, I also have to drive to Cape Cod tomorrow morning, which will be fun. Oh, that, that was the worst part was like, you get down to your car and then you turn it on and you're like, I can't really go anywhere for five minutes. I gotta let it at least <laughs> somewhat warm up because it barely no, started. I I, I, if you go right away, it'll warm up faster. I, I mean, I, I know that, but I also, I don't like to turn it on and then immediately go when it's that cold. I'm like, let me just give you a minute or two, buddy. <laughs> because, like, the oil is slow as shit at that temp and everything. True. So I let it, like, do a little bit and then I go. nothing in the central swamps i wish i wish there was a better announcement system because a lot of those announcements are dull i want to turn off like types of announcements i want them to like i wonder if you just let them build up will they auto dismiss like will they roll through i, I mean they they update into those categories but, but i don't I mean, know if there's uh, enough categories yeah, but I mean, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be like, hey, don't tell me like announcements when you strike something, you know, I don't care. Oh, totally, totally. I just meant, I don't think they would dismiss. I, it depends. I don't know how many categories there are, oh. if it would ever fill your screen. Because I'd be fine with it if it just like rolled. I'd be like, look, I can dismiss all of them or it'll just show five and roll through them. I think I'm gonna take a nap after this. Maybe I'll take a nap and watch Columbo. Oh, Columbo's sick. I'm a little sick. I'm very tired. Day two of my vacation. I'm already throwing the towel in. Already, already throwing the towel in. I did. Um, <coughs> I did put my PC together. It's pretty much all the way together, and then I made this list of everything that I think I need to transfer from my current PC. Transfer as in like, not like data, but like oh, OBS. I need Parts to and stuff. No, no, even before that, like OBS, I need to export my profiles uh, and stuff and then stuff that I can't just flat transfer over. Um, so, and I think I'm done. Let me let me run through this list and tell me if you think I'm missing anything. OK, you ready? OBS settings, which is like settings, profiles and scenes. Up deck. My DaVinci Resolve database. 
What, what's, what's fighting? What's fighting? What's going on over here? These, these badgers and the dogs are fighting. They're in a wild time. How many? Is it like three badgers and a dog? Yeah, I did. They did add the advance one frame at a time, which is nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna type it in. Three badgers ambushing a dog in a lightly wooded clearing. And this, this I'm going to say scale model. Tilt shift image of a scale model. Ooh, that's good. This, um, it's apparently okay. injured. Oh, he's running away. I'm gonna, let's generate this and see what we got. Oh, this stray dog is seriously injured. Diagnosis acquired. Oh my god. Will, you have to look at these. Oh, wow. That Is the dog so tiny? That's incredible. That's the one, folks. That is. That's inc That is gorgeous. very well done, AI. All right, back to the back to the game. Okay. Oh. <sighs> um. I have. Uh, so just going through this again, because I, I do want your, uh, if you think I'm missing anything, my DaVinci Resolve database, which is kind of like your project files and everything um, for Premiere, but for DaVinci Resolve, uh, the PowerShell script I use to like boot up my stream settings and all that, my Dwarf Fortress saves, um, Notepad++, I had a bunch of stuff open but not saved, so I went through and like saved it and stuff and everything. And then my Elgato camera settings. Is there anything else you think I need to like back up before I tear this current PC apart? I, everything else is like either mm. in the cloud or like a login application where it's saved in the cloud. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is like saves for games that aren't on Steam. I don't think I care about any of those though. Yeah, I mean, if you don't care about them, then. Because yeah, awesome. that's the thing is, I was trying to think of what I've been playing in the past month, and I was like, I really only care about those. I don't care about. You said OBS settings. Yes. Uh, voice deck. meter settings. Oh, voice deck. voice meter. I've got the images of the screenshots. Oh yeah. Um. I don't have any torrents. You know what you can do, which, which is so. what I did. I just backed up my like file folders for Windows, and then when I reinstalled it. If I was missing something, like I was missing all of my foobar stuff. Yeah. Um, I just imported those presets back into the install folder on the new install and it just grabbed yeah. everything. So, so I am going to do that. I'm going to pull all my drives and I'm not going to touch them. The only drive I'm not going to pull is my C, my C drive. So I, I can go backwards. I would just rather not go backwards if I don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. So I think after this stream, I'm going to pull. Sorry. There's an echo. I can hear myself through you. I don't know what changed. Well, it's very faint, but I think I can hear it now. So let me, uh... Can you check on your side if you're watching anywhere? And I'll see if I'm no, watching I'm not. anywhere. I can only hear you. Can you talk again? Can I talk again? Talking, talking, this is Will talking. This is Ian talking? That's weird. Maybe it's bleeding through if your headphones are cranked. No, they're pretty quiet. Okay, well, anyways. Uh, ain't like anybody's watching. Um, Boop. So I did the, uh, the PC, I put it together. It went together pretty well. It's it was nice the case I bought because I can literally like take everything off and go down to the skeleton. So it has a it has a mm -hmm. motherboard tray that comes out. So I took the whole tray out, built it in place on a desk and then put it in. Um It's just so weird. I barely worked with M2 drives and it's just crazy to think you have your hard drives now attached directly to the motherboard and they're so tiny. 
It's bonkers. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Like I was like when I was about to put it in the case, I was like, I have I have six terabytes of storage on this motherboard right now. <laughs> I was like, that is, and I have an and I have an unused slot, <laughs> and I was like, Jesus, this is crazy. <laughs> and it, honestly, it wasn't even that expensive for each of those two terabyte PCIe four drives, which are like seven thousand megabits per second. Uh, they were one fifty each for a two terabyte high speed M2. Wow, that's not bad at all. Yeah, that's why I bought three of them. Because I was like, well, shit, I might as well. Like my C drive, my games drive, and my video editing drive. I'll just replace them. Um, yeah, that's smart. So I realized I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have those three hard drives. And then I'm going to have three platter hard drives, and then I'm going to have at least two SATA drives as well. <laughs> I'm going to have all of that put into the new one. So basically, as soon as the stream's done, I'm going to shut this PC down. I'm going to pull the graphics card and all the hard drives out, except for my C drive. And then I'll pretty much be done, which is nice. But those be quiet That's cases. I know, I know you've got a be quiet case. They are. They are quiet. quiet. <laughs> They're quiet. Yeah. It's crazy. But the only thing, mine gets a little hot. But I think that's because of all the insulation. So I, that was one of the things I was worried about when I, when I kept looking into it, though. People were like, no, you're good. That, as long as you do cable management. So this is the first time I've actually cared about cable management. Because I want it to, like, have good airflow. Especially since the, yeah. I, the i9 can get super hot. And then the other thing was, for a while, I was like... I wanted to get one of those all in one coolers and my assumption was like, Hey, they're going to be easier to work with and they're going to, they're going to work better. Like they're going to be quieter and they're going to keep the CPU cooler. And then I started looking into it and like the radiators are so big that it can be hard to find a spot in the case to put them without losing hard drive bays, optical drive bays and stuff. And I was like, well, that's probably worth the Ooh. sacrifice. And then I started looking into the price and then versus an air cooler and basically it came down to like i can spend 150 dollars on an all-in-one cooler that's going to work pretty well or i spend a hundred dollars on like the giant noctua air cooler which both is cooler and quieter than the all-in-one and is easier and smaller to install and i was like well fuck i guess i'm going to use an air cooler then <laughs> you know Damn. It's one of those things where I was like, it's time to finally upgrade to all in ones. And then at the end of the day, I was like, actually, they're they're still not as good as air coolers. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna spend less money and get better cooling and acquired a package overall. Yeah. Gosh darn it, that was the wrong button. So I'm just it's 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 nice to do a oh, nice holiday nice. project. Yeah. I I need to figure out what mine's gonna be. I, I, I have a couple options. I have a model that I thought, I was like, oh, I could build that. Um, and then I was like, oh, will I work on a video? And so all this sort of stuff. I need to kind of figure out what I want to do. Yeah. But I can't sit here and watch play Dwarf Fortress the whole time. Uh, as much as I want. Uh, uh -huh. I guess I could. I realize this case that I'm using, I think I've had it for seven or eight years. My old case. It's still a good case, but like I was working on this one, I was like, when was the last time I did this? The last time I like built into a brand new case. It's been a long time. I, oh, that's what I was going to say. I think if this case was bigger, it'd be a little bit cooler. Like my, yeah. I think it was half case, HAF case I had. Yeah. was like this big and the air that came out of that was always like lukewarm cold yeah um and it didn't make a lot of noise because the fans were so big so i had to I, I had to play around with my new one a little bit because at, at the first the motherboard was not detecting the chassis fans and so because of that it wasn't spinning them up and down properly and then, thankfully i i noticed it before i tried to stress the system um mm -hmm. So it wasn't quite plug and play. I had to mess with it a little bit to get it going, but 
that's why I was like, I'm going to do cable management. It's got two fans in the front. It's got one fan in the back. I think my I, I'm going to have to check because I've only done testing with it with the side panels off the case and maxing the CPU. It gets to like 80 degrees C, um, which is good. But again, I haven't closed the case up yet. <clears throat> so I think once I put the GPU in, I'll have to check temps again and then I may have to throw an extra fan or two in there. Finally, you got your workshops in place. Good for you. Yeah, getting them going. <sighs> Remove that. Oh, I gotta get, like, kitchens and stuff going. Maybe I'll do that down here. That way the hunters don't have to move as far. Oh, and this is going to be a project. Is digging this out. The aquifer? Yeah. No, I, I, I'm going to put that those drawbridges in. Yeah, let's do that now, honestly. Show me, show me how that works. So you're digging below, and then you're going to channel. Yeah. And then... Oh, you know what? Before I... I got to... I got to... Do a work order for Mac. Oh. I, said, I, <laughs> I said I need to do a work order for Mexicans. <laughs> Mechanisms. <laughs> Mechanisms. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That wasn't racism. That was just me not saying the correct word. Casual racism. Oh man, it was just I, casual. Yeah. So we went to Costco today, and um, it turns out uh, tr Christmas traffic is here, folks. Um, I always oh no! So there were three cars on the road near you? <laughs> no, it was actually backed up. Like like oh wow! You would be driving down the highway and you would see exits like people waiting on the on the off ramp to exit, which is very oh, yeah. shocking down here because there's almost never traffic. Um, but it's literally the holiday traffic. It's these people trying to get into like the shopping centers and stuff. Um, so we went to Costco and I was sitting in a little bit of traffic at a light behind a car for like two minutes and I'm staring at the car and on the one side they had a black and white American flag with a blue line through it and then on the right hand side they had it was a black and white American flag but it was like draped and I think it was like do you remember that image of like the American flag hanging in the 9-11 rubble yeah, I think it was that, but in black and white, and then it had a cutout of a Christian cross in it. And I was like looking at one, and then I was looking at the other, and I was like, I don't want to be mean, but I was looking at it, I was looking at it, and then I turned to Maggie and I said, I think these people are racist. <laughs> And I was I was saying that not as like a reactionary, but like literally trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. And at the end of the day, I was like, why would you have a thin blue line sticker? And then also something that ties 9-11 into like Christianity, which is basically just like a fuck Muslim sticker. And I was like, yeah, these people are racist. Like it was this like, I don't want to say slow realization, but I was really trying hard not to be like a judgmental asshole. But I was like. You're not helping yourself here, you know? <laughs> it's just like, I'm sorry. I would just like to point out, we almost made swastikas. <laughs> almost. <laughs> no, those are menorahs. Oh, that was <laughs> close. very close. <laughs> very close. Uh, We're not the New York Times. Yeah. Uh, so then I said, and then I asked Maggie, what if we got some racist bumper stickers? <laughs> it's in just Florida. Blend in. You can do it. My dad... I I've talked about this before. I own some Trump hats as a joke, and I never wear them outside. And my dad every now and then is like, you know, this is the place where you could wear them. <laughs> Not because he's a Trump oh supporter, but he's like, anywhere else you get your ass kicked. But in Florida, you'd probably make friends. <laughs> I um, it's this this memory came flooding back to me. But I did the Reddit Secret Santa in like 2016, I think. Mm -hmm. And I got matched with this person, and I can't remember the other thing I got them, but I ordered them a 
Trump 2016 shirt. And as a joke, because he had just announced it or something. And I was like, oh, there's no way. And I just remembered the lady like complained and tried to get a new person. And I I saw her message and I like commented and it like gets rid of the anonymity. And I was like, hey, I bought this as a joke. Like, oh, my God, I'm also young and didn't realize like this would blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, it's okay. And the other thing I got her, and I can't remember what it was, was good. So they were like, okay with it. But I just remember being like, oh, I shouldn't. That was the first time I was like, I shouldn't buy that as a joke. But also, yeah. fuck this person. They should have understood it was yeah. a joke. Yeah. And even if it's not a joke, you don't go complaining. Like, yeah. That's one of the things I hate about Reddit is that they try to be a community. And it's like, I don't care who you are. You're never going to get to a community status with, with like a group that open and big on the internet. Oh, so, yeah. So don't be like, we need to band together as a community. You know? Like, even subreddits, it's hard to do that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but speaking of Florida, though, I did go to the shooting range yesterday. Ooh. Um, so, I mean, I've been to a shooting range a couple times. And the last time I went was two years ago. And I think I talked about this because we got to shoot my... My grandfather brought back a Walther P-38 that he got off a dead German officer in World War II. And so I got to shoot that for the first time. And that was fun. Um, but we usually go to shooting ranges. And shooting ranges are even good ones are like hey you know you have your lane there's a safety officer standing behind you all the time and you know there's rules and a lot of times it's like one shot every 10 seconds i think the most i've seen is like one shot every three seconds so it's not just like do whatever the fuck you want like there's there's safety rules and i'm all for that but my dad joined this gun club like 20 minutes south of him that's out in like the wilderness of florida but it's well put together and they have these bays <laughs> and there's at least they're like 25 yard bays and there's basically like six to eight foot cinder block walls down the bay the bay is maybe like 10 yards across 25 yards long and there's a berm at the end of it and they have some steel targets and you can bring your own targets to set up and they're just like yeah do whatever you want man <laughs> so <laughs> So, like, my dad, like, he's been there. So I went there with him. This is my first time. And I'm not used to this, but, like, you literally, like, you go in, you check in, and then we go to one of the bays, and there's, like, a plastic table and a little awning, and then there's just the bay. <laughs> and and I'm like, okay, so do we just, like, set up a target? And my dad's like, yeah. And there's, like, there's no need for a ceasefire or anything because you're the only people in the bay. So we just, like, go down, we set up targets, and, like, we go to shoot, and I'm like... <laughs> Like, there's part of me, there's, like, the safety person and the rule follower and, like, the con the safety conscious gun owner that, like, together means, like, at a range that I'm, like, hypersensitive to, like, you know, finger off the trigger, keep the weapons pointed down range all the time. Like, what are the rules? I need to know the rules. I don't want to fuck any of this up. And, like, we go to shoot. My dad's like, okay, let's just walk down and shoot. And he walks down. And then he's, like, he's, like, 25, 30 feet from the steel targets. And he just, like... Boom, boom, boom. And it's just like literally just a bay where they're just like, yeah, shoot whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> like literally like the only rule they have is if you're shooting at the steel targets, you can't be closer than like 10 yards. Um, Jeez. So, man, we had some fun. Like we weren't going hog wild. We were still safe with it. But like I, I really like I'm not a good shot. So they had this like six inch diameter s circle steel target that I really like to shoot at. Cause again, I was shooting at it from like 10 yards, like, you know, 25, 30 feet. And um, I was hitting it maybe 75% of the time, which is kind of bad because I have a bad flinch. So I kept missing, but it was really easy for me. Like me shooting at a paper target doesn't mean much. Cause I know I'm going to miss. I'm never going to hit the center unless it's an accident, mm -hmm. but like aiming at like a six inch target, I should be able to hit that consistently unless I'm flinching or fucking up really badly. So it was a good way for me to be like, as long as I'm calm and taking this seriously, I should be able to hit this. And so I was practicing on that. But yeah, I was, I started doing like double taps and stuff and it was like, it feels real good, y'all. It feels, because normally it's like, bang, and you're like, okay, bang, which is fine. That's safe. <laughs> But there was a point where we like we had like two rounds of 45 left and and I looked at it and there was nothing left in the box and I was like, I'll get rid of these. And I just threw them both in a magazine, took the 1911 and down and just went bang bang <laughs> like into the steel. And then I was like, OK, all done. 
Dang. Like that's that's one of the nice things about Florida is that everybody's a little bit more relaxed about things, which could be bad. But in this case, it was like it was a safe range. Everybody was being safe. You had your own bay. There was very little safety risk except to yourself. And so they were just like, look, as long as you're not being an absolute asshole, like people were bringing shotguns and like ARs and like shooting them fast in their own bays. And it's like, OK, I don't need a range officer behind me. The only person I'm putting at risk is myself. So. Yeah, I am. Um, <clears throat> I've never been to a range. I've only shot in the great outdoors. Um, I pretty much because, the same, honestly. Uh, yeah. Which is, I, I think, is more fun because you can just yeah. shoot each other. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the great outdoors is, I remember we, we used to go camping and we would take, we would buy flats of like expired soda and we would shake up the cans and put the cans on a log and then shoot them. And, and when you shot them, they would, the cans would explode. You can't do that at a range. You can't even do that at the range I went to yesterday. So shooting in the wilderness is always fun. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, how's it going? This guy's giving me grief. Are you dead yet? Uh, it's good. I um, I dug out this spot for this. I'm just waiting for someone to come finish building everything. What I'm was just that? Like slowly bringing stuff down. Oh, that's. Why do you keep saying this? Is it because somebody else grabbed it before she could do it? I think it's because I destroyed the other uh, carpenter place. So show me your drawbridge real quick. So you that's. So this is so these walls I removed. I'm gonna replace them and smooth them, so people can't like scale them. Oh, okay. Um, What's the center part? And then that's the drawbridge. Oh, so it's rough chalk bridge. Okay, and then to the yeah, right is so, what and open then this, space? Or no, the right is nothing. Uh, no, underneath it is open space that leads to down here. Wait, go up one. Okay, wait. What's what's on the right side of the bridge? Because people keep walking down that. Yeah, I, I'm gonna replace the. I can't smooth loam, so I'm oh, replacing so them with stone walls. Oh, okay, gotcha, here gotcha. Here. Okay, and then below you have. I'm adding chalk walls. And and an open space, and, and it's just one. It's just one Z high. Uh yeah. Okay. I could dig it deeper if I wanted to. And then above, I could eventually like put water in there. How do you, how do you, how do you, oh, I heard somebody say you don't want to do that because people can swim through water as opposed to just being stuck in a pit. Oh, true. What about, um, how do you raise the bridge? What's that? Uh, I'll connect it to this lever. Is there anything? Raise. So you can just put a lever. I don't think lever. the height of the bridge matters. So you can put a lever on any bridge. You don't have to add like a drawbridge mechanism or anything like that. It, it, it has. So sorry. Yeah, when you link it, it'll this. automatically do it. Um, this construction, build a bridge and then you choose where you want the lift point to be. Oh, OK. Gotcha. And then I have no idea what this means. I'll look it up. This is just the draw direction. And then maybe this means it's just a regular bridge. So I could think Steam bridge options. What are you doing? Oh, she built the bridge. You know there's okay. fighting happening, right? Yeah, it's a dog and a somebody. And a red panda sow. Jeez. We can go at it. Okay, I asked them to link these, so someone's gonna come do that. And then what do you and then you're going to block off the that hallway with the staircase in the lower part once it's built? Yeah, I'm going to put a I'm going to put a wall here. Oh, okay. okay, so those are linked now. So when I hit pull lever. You can also assign people to be the lever pullers. Uh huh. Like you can make a guard who's stationed here be the lever puller. Ugh. Um, That's just otherwise just anyone can do it. You can hit the you can hit the exclamation to elevate it. Yeah, I just figured someone. Oh, and somebody it. just grabbed it, so they're on the way. There it is. Ah. Uh, now what's up? That's pretty sweet, right? That is. That's much easier. I thought you would have to like architect it and like add a a drawbridge mechanism, but if it's literally just bridge plus lever, that's nice. Yeah, it works. I should do that in mine. Uh, okay. Someone's gonna lower it, please. Uh, and then I'm going to build some walls here. The only problem with wall building, which is also a problem in regular Dwarf Fortress, 
is corners. Um, people hate building. They'll build the two side pieces and then won't be able to build the corner. So you want to do corners first. Yeah. Uh, otherwise. Gotcha. It that makes sense. Up. So like I left these two free so they could do the some chalk and then I won't block that off yet <sighs> because because literally the person will walk in here wall that off and then can't get out yeah uh... oh because <laughs> the drawbridge was up so they were unable to come back in We have any ores. Let's make some magnetite. Now you're smelting that. Is it is it automatically going to use wood for fuel or whatever? Um. So in the wood furnace, I have a uh, work order for charcoal. Oh, okay, and charcoal, and then the other guy is just going to pull yep. the charcoal. The smelter is going to pull the charcoal, and that's yep. going to make like ingots and stuff. Yep. And then they'll put ah! those down here, and then people will use them for stuff there's i i wish there i don't know if there's a way to do it that's probably an automation way but there's no work order for smelt ore like i just want everyone to oh. smelt all ore all the time oh but you have to pick like iron um, ore etc because at the jeweler i have a work order for cut, cut gem. gems i'm just yeah. like i don't want raw gems just cut every gem you got yeah um hey amen and baby i love you and same with rock crafts because the worst case scenario you don't have an industry ready but when the traders come you can trade crafts and jewels yeah easily i'm tired i know we don't we can we can cut this short if you want to do you want to hear about my other project um desperately i have you know like one of those like plastic parts organizers where it's just a whole bunch of little bins and stuff mm-hmm so I have one of those that I got from my dad that just has a whole bunch of like screws, nuts, bolts, and washers in it. And I finally yeah. bought one of those kits. You know how when you go to like Home Depot or Lowe's and you're in like the hardware section, they have the things where they're like, check what size it is, you know? Yeah. So I bought one of those. I bought like a slightly nicer one. And I'm going to use that to sort all of my bolts and screws and, and nuts. Ooh. And I, I gotta, I think I'm gonna need a second parts organizer because I'm gonna, I'm gonna go full. I'm gonna be like, this is my M2 1.5 drawer. This is my M2 dash, you know, 1.25 drawer. Like, I'm gonna try to actually get it fully organized. You got migrants, by the way. Oh, just one joy. No, that it, they, it ticks them up as they walk in. I just hope it's not 30 like it was last time. That's crazy. Three, four. I was just talking about how they're migrants. You're gonna, are you going to build a wall in your other fortress to keep them out? Keep out the migrants? <laughs> Oh, what if you, that would be a I good... I deny every, anyone who wants to join my fortress to entertain, I deny. It's got to be a, a bunch bug, of mercenaries. Right? It's got to be a bug, like, right? Like, there's no reason it's... why I have 30 of them. It's because it's a tavern. Like, it, yeah, it's just because people are like, oh, you can entertain people here. Perfect. But yeah, I, I did get oh, some, some nice this mercenaries. Looks great. How great this looks. I should put a bunch of traps down here. What do traps do? Do they keep people in place or do they harm them? They're different types. Uh, either or. Different types. Okay, have that person wall that up. And I'm also probably going to throw a hatch on that. Can I make a stone hatch? Stonehenge. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh, rock hatch cover. I'll take one, please. I'm always fighting the urge to put in work orders or just to order one of something. Most of the time it's like, oh, let me put in work orders. 
Yeah. Oh, I see. They canceled a bunch of things because they were no longer in the place that they wanted them to be. Lame. When I destroyed that thing. I should have told them to stop working at it before I destroyed it. Man, I just came with a crazy idea. Okay, you ready for this crazy idea? Yeah. It's called it's called the lazy fortress. So, a dwarf needs what? They need a bedroom. They need a dining room. They need a stockpile to work from and a workshop to work in. So let, let's just pause there and say like that's the four. What if you made sure that for every dwarf, they had those four in a perfect vertical line. So they literally were never moving horizontal. So they were always just like staircase to the to the stockpile, to the workshop, oh. and, then, and then to the bedroom and then and then to the kitchen, you know. Like you just like you know, it was, was just vertical stacks throughout the fortress. It's funny you say that because I was thinking last night of put, putting together like homes where you're just you have staircases in the rooms up to yeah. other floors of the house that don't connect to things on this other floor. But you could I'm just like, have oh, it. That's not a bad idea. But in that home, you could just have like if they're a woodworker, then their workshop is in their home, and there's a small wood wood stockpile there that the haulers take it take to. Honestly, a good restriction is like your fortress is nine by nine or like Jesus uh, or like 11 by 11. Oh, good Lord. And that's it. Oh, uh, that'd be crazy. Oh, I think that'd be more fun than the than the Factorio strip. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should call it. I'm sorry. I did that. No, you're good. Um, yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. We got that drawbridge together, which I'm excited for. I'm going to do this in my other place, but I kind of fucked it up. So Yeah, That's I right. think something we need to think about for the series in general is we need to have things in our back pocket. Did somebody die? Well, we'll never find out. Uh, <laughs> tune in next time. I think something <laughs> we got to have in our back pocket is how do we make things bonkers easily? So if things are going lame, is it just like let's flood the fortress you know yeah yeah it's, sorry i was just trying to lean on you i'm just a little tired it's okay no actually i'm in front so i need to lean on you oh can you rub my shoulders uh oh oh thank oh yeah right there right there <laughs> let me just hit your back for you <laughs> this is a series right here <laughs> Well, Sorry, folks, uh, <laughs> yourself. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining us. It's been a lazy Dwarf Fortress, uh, Dwarf Boy stream. Um, we're going to be back on Thursday, next Tuesday, for another stream of Dwarf Boys with some more exciting action. Uh, until then, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Joyous Holidays, anything and everything. Look, you've earned some time off. You have some fun with friends and family. That's what we're going to be doing, too. Uh, happy blessings, Merid. I'm going to go take a nap. Uh, any last words, Will? Happy Christmas. Val. Oh, I didn't hit the button right. Val.